all decked out in Ethiopian attire, Sophia was all smiles when she posed for cameras at the ICT International Expo in Addis Ababa. And the crowds couldn't get enough of the android. It was a great pleasure to finally be visiting Ethiopia. Sophia was designed to look like British actress Audrey Hepburn, complete with a slender nose, high cheekbones, and an intriguing smile. Sophia is, has her own character, right? So what we're planning to do is build a new character, which has Ethiopian flavors, Ethiopian philosophies. Sophia, who was originally designed to speak English, has been programmed to speak a second language, Amharic, Ethiopia's official language. In the first phase, we're trying to add more robust text-to-speech and speech-to-text uh, recognition because when you talk to her, she has to hear you and reply back some re set of from a set of responses. Some initially had mixed feelings about AI, but that changed after hearing what one of the world's most advanced androids had to say. I was really excited because, like, you know, it's like a, a big deal for Ethiopia, but I was, like, really nervous because I'm scared of her, basically, and artificial intelligence. But when, I, when she started talking, she was saying that, you know, she wanted to help humanity and she was saying that, you know, artificial intelligence is a good thing. So I thought that speech was really good. Sophia was activated about three years ago and made headlines last year when she became the first robot to receive official citizenship from the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Given the response from her fans here, could Ethiopia be next? Maria Magyalo, VOA News.